Okay, so if I can call the meeting to order on January 13th, 2020 at uh, 610. Uh, we have minutes for the January 7th meeting. It seems like it was a lot longer ago, a lot longer ago than six days, but. Did you lock the door? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Any discussion on the minutes? There's, I just want to make sure I have the changes right. Um, on that second and that like the fourth line down um the, we're talking about the state aid does not include school choice money i'm going to add that word in there mm -hmm. um and then based on historical act actuals we estimate five hundred thousand dollars less for local receipts. that was okay we changed that and changed it back and then um we expect charter schools to increase drastically but this year school choice is only 500 k and it's been higher in the past does that sound accurate now? Pretty close. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That's how I'll change yeah, it. it. The change is going to find me and all. Okay. Yeah, that'd be great. Okay. And then there was a typo down at the bottom. I'm going to change my effects. And from now on, I'll use the word impact so I won't screw it up. <laughs> Okay, uh, if there are no further changes, could I have a motion to accept the minutes so as moved. amended? I'll second that. Moved, seconded. Any further discussion? Uh, if there is none, all of those in favor of the minutes? Aye. 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 Unanimous? It is, mm -hmm. amazing. And thank everybody for coming. Uh, I was, I'll apologize for the timing of the, the meeting since last week we did say seven o'clock as opposed to six. It's also under the impression that there was a scheduled personnel board meeting for six o'clock and it turns out there wasn't. And then we needed one so it got messed up. So I apologize. So for tonight, we've got the 2021 20, budgets, and Brenda has been kind enough to give us a list of those budget items that we should be able to go through uh, fairly quickly. We also have draft articles for a special town meeting, and we do not have a date for a special town meeting yet. Because Wednesday, January 29th. January 29th. Yeah, is, is, that, is that on for January 29th, guys? That's what it says right there. I know it is, but I'm not sure that it is. That's the chairman, he can tell you. I can't find him. Uh, I'm sorry. There's a town meeting Special scheduled for meeting. January 29th. Correct, yes. Okay, it, it is scheduled at this point for January 29th. <clears throat> it is currently scheduled for January 29th, 2020. What's board, that mean? You're unless, shaky? Unless yeah. the board, may or may not have it. right? Unless we don't post okay. it. Okay. <laughs> so we will we will discuss that also. Anything else that I'm? Give us having? your input. <laughs> Is there anything else that we need to talk about other than these budget items and the special town meeting? I can't think of anything for tonight. Okay. All right, can we take a look at the uh, at the budgets? So the first one is the moderator. It's the first first one in your book. <clears throat>
Any uh, any questions on the moderator uh, budget? If there are none, do we have a motion? I'll make a motion. Move the Second. moderator's budget uh, for four hundred dollars. Move, seconded. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Is that unanimous? Okay. <clears throat> uh, seven zero zero. <clears throat> Finance committee. We had actually approved the, the, this one before, but since we're all here now, why don't we redo it? Make a motion. We reapprove the five hundred bucks. Do we have it in here? Yeah. Yep. So that's a 131 page. Yeah. 5400. <clears throat> I flipped two budgets. So, if we have people attending the annual meeting in in October, <clears throat> there's probably enough money in the budget for one person to attend. And if we have more than one or more than two, then we'll just have to add money to it. And I think I'm. I'm happy with the $500. Uh, yeah, I think we had two participate a couple of years ago, and this and this budget covered it. Okay. So, all right. Um, any discussion? Any questions? I'll make a motion. I'll to, second. Uh, it's moved and seconded <clears throat> to establish the finance committee budget for FY21 at $500. All of those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Unanimous. Accountant's expense. I figured that one would be an <coughs> easy one to approve since 98% uh, of the budget is the audit fee. So you're going to save us 50 bucks. <laughs> we have a typo on either one of the other Davis or on the number on the sheet. I don't know if it oh, matters. Oh, now 5,400 is good. Sorry. I did not look, look in, in a lot right. of detail for that. Typo. Okay. Any questions on the uh, budget? Uh, wait a minute just to take a look on these. If we could just take a look at what we've spent so far. Go for it. Yep. Let's see if it's way out of whack. I guess we haven't been billed for the audit yet. From what's Correct. He's just finishing it up this week. You, you can see with the exception, obviously, of the 2020, but the 2015 through 2019, the figures are there for, uh, I think the 20, is 2019 there also? Yes. Is that yeah, final? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Correct. I make a motion to approve the account expense. Second. All of those in favor of the uh, account's expense, $15,750. Aye. 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 Opposed? Unanimous, Seven zero zero. And the next one is uh, personnel board. It's one fifty two fifty four hundred. Make a motion we approve the $500 for personnel board. Second. Can we just find it for a second? Everybody got it? 152? No. Okay. Uh, any questions on the personnel board? It's, again, a couple of years ago, we did have some expenditures that, you know, and, and it's one of those things where if we, if the if the committee does something, they need extra money, then we'll put the money in the budget at that point in time. Yeah, they might want to go yeah. uh, do some training. Yeah. I think the only thing that's been spent out of there so far are the books and yeah. such that you bought or yeah. had, had Pat pick up for you. All right. Who seconded so, that? What's that? That was um, John Petrur for the motion. On personnel board? 
Oh, you made a motion? No, I act up. You second? second. Okay. I don't know if anybody made the motion on personal. I did. Oh, you did? Okay. I'm going to second. You guys are fighting over the same Okay. All those in favor of the personnel board? Aye. 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 Opposed? 700. Peg access capital. 155 5800. This is a given. This is the money that we received last fall to, um, for, for peg access capital. So we budget for it the following year. It goes into our free cash, then we budget for it. <clears throat> so it's going down. The, or this is the amount of money that we're getting from from Comcast or whoever. Right. And they're finding a way of keeping us from getting the 50000 that we used to get. Mm -hmm. well, I don't, I, I, it's a declining it's thing. In the yeah, I was going to say, I can't remember. I thought they gave us 50000 the first year, and then, yeah. and then it was 11000 and then it's 4000 for the next three years. Yeah. It, was a, it was a set amount over a 10-year. Was it 10 years? Oh, I thought it was five. Okay. I think it's declining over time. Make a motion. We approve this for 4,000. Second. It's moved. It's seconded. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Unanimous? 700. Conservation Commission? 171-5400. I'll second it. It's moved and seconded. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Unanimous? 700. Open space is the very next one. Make a motion we approve that for 250. Second. It's moved, seconded. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? I'm sorry, 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 sorry. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I, think I think Diana yes. mentioned yes. earlier that they were planning to do something with this this year, the open space. Oh, we'll see. They'll yeah. <laughs> no, have to come and ask them money, won't they? <laughs> okay. Oh, Carolyn mentioned they were going to okay. do something with open space. And then the very next budget is uh, ZBA. <clears throat> This is always a little higher because they have so many um, mailings. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that's the their expenses mostly mailings. Yes. And you can see uh, last year, 2019, they overspent their budget. Yes, they did. <clears throat> Make a motion we approve this budget for a thousand dollars. Second. It's been moved, seconded, and seconded. <laughs> All of those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed. Unanimous, 700. Next, Ag Commission. Our very next budget. I have, no, I have no idea why we keep this in here or what it's going to be spent on someday, but, you know, for soon 100, as, soon 100 as we take bucks. It, some, as soon as we take it out, somebody will want to spend 10 bucks, and we'll have to go through right. help putting it, finding yes. a place to take the 10 bucks. It does. Yeah. Make a motion to approve the Agriculture Commission. Second. Moved, seconded. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Seven zero zero. Uh, Energy committee. Very, very next budget. They didn't do much last year, did they? <clears throat> no, they didn't. I, I think they always good. have have good intentions to. Um, David thinks that they have some projects coming up that they might use this this time, but. Make a motion we approve the Energy Committee budget for $1,000. Second. Move, second, any discussion? All those in favor, Energy Committee, $1,000. Aye. 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 Opposed? Unanimous, 700. Emergency management. So that is 291-5400. Uh, so that's under your tab two. Okay. And it's the, end. the majority of this budget is a stipend for the gal that is um, doing the emergency <coughs> management uh, work for us. Sexist comment. Not listening, huh? 
Pardon? You're not listening, huh? It's a, it's a sexist comment. Oh. <laughs> Uh, okay, emergency management. Any questions on this? So what is this? Uh, something pretty new? It's the one year, one year we've had it is a 2018. Nothing for 219. And yeah. So in two, in 2018, we did not approve the budget. That was um, a budget that was presented by Mark Gilmore. So this is something that's. Uh, we did. Didn't we have something? In 19, we didn't have anything in here. We did not pay any stipend in 2019. We might have paid a match or something. We might have gotten. Because she's been working for a good year on. Well, this is this is the first year that she's getting paid for it. Oh, she didn't do nothing. No. Okay. Okay. So. Okay. So what what are we getting out of this budget, or what's the purpose of the? Well, basically, the, so the emergency management director does all the emergency planning. Right now we're doing, um, she's doing the whole rave. Uh, we just went from code red to rave, so she's been implementing all of that um, changeover and then uh, getting people sign, sign up. She goes to all of the emergency management trainings in the region. She participates in um, all the, you know, drills or anything that happens. If we had an event, she would be... The person that would be in charge. The she did the whole um, the stop event. the bleed program at the school. She went to all the nonprofits in our, our schools to, you know, with the school shootings that are going on. She's got everybody trained in their uh, stop the bleed bags. She gets grants every year for She's that stuff. All the, right. You know, like you said, you said her program. Yeah. yeah. Who is she? She, she played, uh, it's Lori McComb. Who? Lori McComb is our emergency oh, no. manager director. Uh, and, there, and the stipend we also use as a match. Every year, um, the town applies for the for the mm -hmm. grant, and so we have to have a, a match. So I think also you can use the stipend for the EMD as your match for that grant, which I think she did this past year. Mm -hmm. She's also a, a part-time uh, EMT mm -hmm. for EMS. Okay. Make a motion. We approve this budget for twenty-eight hundred. Second. Moved. Seconded. Any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Seven zero zero. All right. The next budget is in uh, your tab five, and it's just the Council on Aging. It's five forty one dash fifty four hundred. I'll let you speak to that one. Yeah. So, so you have been funding um, that at a minor expense, and I think for several years the Council on Aging has been inactive. Um, this year we have reactivated the Council on Aging and we have an active appointed uh, group. Um, they in turn are serving uh, together with the other two towns, Wheatley and Sunderland, and we formed, reformed the Tri-Town group and they are looking at the operations of the center as well as the, the or the shared, um, shared operations of the three towns as well as the facility itself. So, so of the, the 500, is that what the town of Deerfield is putting into it, or is that that's just total? For the, right, that's just for the Council on Aging. For so Deerfield's the, Council. For Deerfield's Council on oh. Aging, yes, because we're talking about doing some, um, some outreach work. For the <coughs> and the other two towns are matching that $500? They're budgeting in their own towns. I'm not yeah, sure I'm what sure their budgets what are. But I do, are, yeah, I think yeah. Sunder, I think Waitley said they were putting in 500 But this is just for the Deerfield's Council, yeah, no, not for curious. the shared, right. Make a motion we approve the Council on Aging for 500. Second. It's moved, seconded. Any further discussion? Those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? 7 0 0. Okay. Uh, next one is uh, Veterans. Veterans District Assessment. Yep. This is your next budget. Make a motion we approve this budget for $11,593. That's one that we. We get sent to us, right? It gets assessed to us, yes. Okay, that's Second. an assessment. Yeah. Correct. Right. Any questions? We got a motion. Is there a second? Yeah, yeah Bruce. Seconded. Moved and seconded. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? 7 0 0. Uh, veterans' benefits. Very next budget. I know. Um, Barb has often done this budget, although I'm not sure she's always been real comfortable with it, but this year we were given a figure for what, from the Veterans District, as to the amount that they thought we might be paying out, so that's what I budgeted. Okay. 
Make a motion we approve veterans benefits at $21,000. Second. Moved. Seconded. Uh, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Question. No. Well, what, is, what is the money used for? Uh, who, who, who gets it? Uh, the veterans, veterans. That, that need assistance for various things. Do they come into? They, 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 they go to the veterans district in Greenfield mm -hmm. and apply, and then Greenfield tells us how much we're going to pay them. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank okay. you. All right. So, any further questions? Great. Right. Move, seconded. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? 700. 88 coordinator. The very next budget. I'll let, you, I'll let you talk to that one. Yeah, so we have had an ADA coordinator in the budget, and um, I think Kevin had been acting as the ADA coordinator. This year, the um, board did appoint the town administrator to be the ADA coordinator, and we applied for a ADA self-evaluation and transition uh, grant, which we just got, uh, we were just awarded. So we're going to be doing an ADA uh, transition plan for the buildings we've already done one for public works for sidewalks and whatnot so so what does ADA stand for uh, Americans with Disabilities Act uh -huh. so you have to have, by law and also because we have a USDA grant which is a federal law that they require you to have um, an ADA coordinator and a self-evaluation and transition plan um, and you have to have um, you have to make sure that your materials are ADA compliant, that your programs and services are ADA compliant. So your your ADA coordinator is the one who ensures that, signs off on your paperwork for USDA, and to ensure that, and they do an audit, uh, which they're going to be doing this month, by the way, and um, and then also uh, responds to any complaints or concerns that the people would have in accessing your programs or services. Who did you say will be doing that now? Well, the, the public works superintendent was doing it prior, but this last couple months the board appointed my, well, the acting town administrator, the town administrator, I think, as the uh, ADA coordinator going forward. Make a motion we approve this. Second. It's moved and seconded. Any further questions? Sure, All I'll those. ask a question. Go so, ahead. So what does it actually cover? <laughs> so basically it's, it's is it be, salary for the no there's no doing salary it? it's basically if there was any kind of like um, outreach or expenses for the you know if there's anything we need to do like if we need to publish something or do anything we should have uh, okay. a little budget for that mostly right. I'm thinking you know materials or publications mailing something like that just expenses right. but no salary any Thanks. other questions all those in favor aye, aye. aye. opposed unanimous seven zero zero Veterans uh, Memorial Day expense. How about the historical, historical, historical commission? Yeah. Sorry. That's okay. So that's that's in your tab six. It's six ninety one dash fifty four hundred. Sorry. <laughs> Questions? Yeah. Could, could have a motion. Make a motion. We approve this at eleven seventy five. Second. Okay. Moved to seconded. Any other discussion? I just want to know when they meet. They're yeah. meeting now? I just finished. <laughs> Hi, Historical Commission. Thank you. Because I was cleaning out my file and I was surprised that somebody sent me some legislation that was approved by the Massachusetts Legislative Committee back in 18 something that there are two towns designated as. The Indian negotiating towns in Deerfield was one of them. No. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. So I've got that copy and I want to give it to them so they've got something to brag that's about. Fantastic. Get that to John yes. Oh, wow. That's exciting. Yeah. I don't know if they caught that, but. Huh. So before I throw all my stuff away, I've, I'm not surprised. I've got a pile for you, too. Okay. Because <laughs> you were there, John? You were there back then? Yes. <laughs> I was there. almost there. You were there? <laughs> so. Any further discussion? Were they putting up a sign by the Senate? Is that, is that two years of that? Yeah, they, um, John thinks that, that 2021 is going to be the year. <laughs> he's, he's got some, some, uh, some plans in the works. OK, we, it was moved and seconded, correct? Yes. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? It's unanimous. And 
Veterans Memorial Day expense. Very next, next budget. Day. Make a motion we approve this for $2,000. No, this is the same as we. I'll uh, second it. Does everybody know what the Memorial Veterans Memorial Day expense is for? The parade? Yeah. I guess. Yep. Flags, stuff like that. Flags, sort of stuff that we do in Memorial Day. The pre uh, ice cream that they give out to the kids who march. Mm -hmm. Water for the people Water. who are in the parade. Yeah. Yeah, miniature flags they do yeah we, do. we have yeah. We, he uses both both accounts uses this one and then uses the others as well does it get used 100 percent this does this does usually what about the money that's donated? Uh, that goes in a separate he's, account he's, he uses that sparingly but there's certain things that he can use some of that for he's he has like two or three other funds so it's in a separate account so when you don't spend money it's just sitting there Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a, they're, they're revolving again. Right. Okay. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Unanimous 700. And the last one. Tab 8. Um, I just got this today, and it's uh, an assessment from FERCOG, as you know, so um, it's set for us. Make a motion we approve the. Franklin County Regional Council of Government Core Assessment at forty-four thousand thirteen dollars. Second. Any questions? Mm -hmm. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? So seven zero zero. Okay. Okay, hey, those are the easy ones. Those are the easy ones. You want to take the next one up? The unfunded sick leave. Well, actually, well, we've got the selected here. We might want to ask them about that. The next one on there is the un unfunded uh, sick, un leave sick leave and vacation. vacation. We didn't put it on the list, but it is the very next budget in your oh. book. It's 910-5800, but it's in tab 8. Um, uh, we have, we have a, um, a highway foreman who will be retiring in August. And I did a quick little calculation of what his payout would be um, and felt that the 10000 wasn't going to cover it, especially if we had anybody else that might be leaving that is going to have um, a payout for anything. So I, I took a wild stab and said, how about 15000 I don't know, Trevor, Carolyn, if you've got some other ideas. I, I think Does we... Does it cover school employees no. as well? No. no. Just, that comes out of a different budget? Yeah. Um, we do have a, a, a sergeant who's retiring, but I thought he was retiring in May, so I think that's in this fiscal year. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. Good. All right. Since that's your best guess, I'll make a motion that we approve 910-5800 unfunded second leave account, vacation account, 15000 Yeah. I, I, I would hope that you, if we're short of thousand, Not a problem. Whatever, you we always take care of you. Any other questions? I'm curious what the policy is. Do they, is it like, for every hour they work, do they get an hour's worth of sick leave? They, they, they get um, one sick day for every year that they worked here. Now, this guy has worked for us for 35 years. That's a buy, buy but, back. But there's a limit. I was reading it in the, in the bylaw today. There's a limit of $4,000 for sick leave. And then they get paid for any unused vacation time, and they can accrue up to two years worth of vacation. And like I said, I assume at two the, years at based the max, upon the week. We have ten weeks uh, due to him. So, what was that, John? Yeah, based on the week. I just said it's based upon the, the uh, amount that you could earn in two years, right. not two years worth of salary. Right. Right. That's right. right. It's yeah, and, and it's the un. Whatever is left that they haven't used. So if somebody's used the week of it, mm -hmm. they're only going to get that's right. Mm -hmm. Obviously, it's just the contractual obligation that we have here. Yes. yes. Pretty pretty straightforward. So. Right. It's, it's contractual. No, it's not contractual. Well, it's in the, uh, we, we it's policy. It's, it's policy. It's in the bylaw. Yeah, it's in the bylaw. Right. <clears throat> but along with this, then we have to pay Social Security. Like, uh, things to benefits to go that are attached to payroll. Absolutely. Yep. Mm -hmm. 
Like you said, it's contractual. We, it's, we have to not, pay up. That's, that's Washington. It's, it's we, not we Social pay up to a certain extent. <laughs> it's not Social Security. We don't County pay retirement. Social Security. Frank County Retirement. Yes. What about Medicare? You have to pay Medicare. 1.45%. The point is there's, yeah. there's other costs and associated those, with this. But what I'm saying is that's in another budget. Yeah. And this is the one that's not funded. I understand that. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> when we're looking at how we spend our money, I think we need to keep in mind that there's money that goes along with this. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Any other discussion? If there is none, it's been moved. Is it seconded? Who, who moved that, this one? Who was it? I thought, John, did what? you move that? Yeah. 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 Who seconded it? I seconded it. Cool. <laughs> Moved and seconded. All of those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Is it unanimous? Yep. Okay. All right. Want to keep going to the next one? While we're on a roll? No, I'd like to take well, up. you could, but these are the budgets that uh, Barb put together, and maybe she'd like to speak yes. to them. If, if I'd like to have her come and discuss yeah. them. Yeah, we don't want anybody to feel left out. Right. So you, you, you will notice on the Franklin County retirement, it's up 50,000 bucks. So, okay. Right. If we can take up the town meeting articles and since we have the selectmen here to explain them, that's even better. By the way, do you want to call your meeting to order? It's or don't you have a post of meeting? <laughs> this is by just by just by chance you happen to show up here at the same place. Are you in a historical meeting too? No, no, I'm not going to table talk. We have a table talk March 2nd. Table top. That's table top or a table Where's talk the like the pies? Oh, okay. I'll tell you what. In case I get there late, you can have my slice of pizza. <laughs> I know you are, and I appreciate it. Okay, Article One. So, I'll let I'm going to let the Board of Selectmen explain what this is and what it's for. Well, I, I, I actually don't want to address it. I, I don't want to come there. And as a fiscal agent, because we've had no opportunity as a SCEMS to really um, discuss what our article should look like, and we want maximum flexibility. So. Um, I, I, Trevor I mean, and I had not, I, I had two meetings in the afternoon when we were notified about the special town meeting articles and um, so I didn't know about them until I came to the select board meeting and after thinking about them I, I actually don't want, this was going to come up on the annual town meeting but I, I really want to have more time to, to do research and make sure that we're wording it correctly. We, uh, I've, so I've had Tom Scanlon look at it. And Great. Tom is okay with how we're, we're, we're working. How we're working it. It's also a lot more flexible than the stabilization fund. This is this is a um, uh, a law that changed with the Municipal Modernization Act. Yeah. So it used to be applicable for school building use only. Does, does now everybody, towns so can use say, this. Yeah, I can back up. We're talking why don't about I back here? up and just give an overview? No, I'd like, I'd Let me like give an overview. overview. I'd like an explanation. Yeah. Yeah. So. When we, um, now that Deerfield owns the SCEMS building, we wanted to treat that building unlike we have treated all of our other assets and to be able to, um, we are in a position to be able to put some money aside. We charge rent for the building to all three towns and we wanted to have money aside to, um, a lot like this, the fire, fire district does and they have some money set aside um, like a stabilization account for repairing a building and maintaining exactly. it. Exactly, and then if there's ever an ex, you know an expansion, we need another bay or something. We want 
what we weren't sure about this article is we know we can do a maintenance new, new driveway or a new roof or something down the road or an AC unit, something like that. We could maintain it. We wouldn't have to keep coming back to the taxpayers. We would use this money in a kind of a stabilization account um, to do that. But we also wanted the flexibility. Um, we weren't sure yet, and maybe Tom has, has given us the okay on that, to be able to put on the addition. Obviously, we'd go through everybody and- Why know, would we have an addition? We just built a brand new exactly. building. Exactly, but in 20 years from now, if the, if the everything changes, or who knows what happens, but at, at, at any time, if the service changes and the needs of our town are bigger or, or it grows or, you know, we have the need to have another bay, we wanted to be able to have that money already done so we didn't have to go back to taxpayers. We could add on to the building. So that was our intention when we had looked at setting, you know, getting the new building and figuring out what we were gonna charge for rent. We wanted to make sure we had a stabilization account set up to be able to do that. So that's been our, when I was on the SCEMS oversight board and as we were developing this policy and the plan and kind of how we were going through with the building, that that was our intention but what we wanted to do is and we've charged rent for a year and we have it sitting probably in an account or free cash or something right now it's it's hanging there we wanted to make sure that that money went and got set aside for this um for this this project but i also my concern was i didn't want it to <clears throat> to get too large and that we had no act, no way to take it out and reduce you know, uh, assessment or there was, I wanted to make sure it was flexible enough that we could use it for other uses strictly for EMS. It's not used for everything else, but it was strictly for expenses that go along with that building and that service. So um, this, we put this on here because we thought one of the other articles was kind of forcing us to have a town, special town meeting. We're still not 100% sure on that. We're, we're working through that, but we thought while this was up, we, we had this money we collected all year. We wanted to secure it so that it was in this fund to be able to do that. But I think if you don't do it, what's going to happen is you're going to end up rolling that into free cash, which is not what you expected to do. No, it's not we what were, we wanted. We were going to do it, though, either have it special before the annual town meeting or special later, and then we could do Well, the question is, when you get the money, you got money that comes in. Yes. You're putting it into a separate pot. Yep. I think this authorizes you to put it into the separate pot right. and keep it in there and not let Tom Scanlon take it out and put it into free cash. Yeah. Oh, no, I agree, John. It's in free cash now. Right. The, the first, our first only, year. Our first. only nervousness was that we wanted to make sure we had enough flexibility with that to be able to use for any other expense. I, we weren't sure the language or, or the law on it, so we just wanted to make sure council looked at it and, and Tom, I guess, has looked at it by now. And well, he has, but I had no idea you were considering an addition, so. Yeah, I, so I, we just I, weren't sure if that. That was not part could, of the discussion. Could that be done? Is that a repair to the building <coughs> or is that an addition or? I guess I just don't want it to happen. So, because it's going to happen. You don't want happen. that to happen. The, Something's got to be done sometime and it's better sooner than later. How long has that building been up? It's more than two weeks. We have one collection to put in it. We can do it sometime between now and annual town meeting or at annual town meeting. It's still, we can move the money from this year to there and, the, and make it a regular article on our town meeting from now on. So I want to make sure the wording is correct. It would be awful. And how are you going to figure out if it's correct or not? Well, we have to have someone look at it. Obviously, Tom Scanlon says it's fine, but he didn't know but then, that we were Right, so we just, right. and, and so the, only reason we're, the only reason we're rushed was that we were kind of rushed on the Article 3, so that's why we kind of put it on here. But we can we can move off and well, do it in the, in the spring. I, I do want to mention, you know, deal. Zach asked about the Article 2. He asked if we were going to put it on because we have a year's worth of rental payments now that have been closed out to free cash. So there was a, a, a question at the SCEMS you know, group whether this was going to go on the, the warrant. I'd rather see you do something now rather than saying, we'll look at it and do it later because later may never come. No, it's not true, John. It's on our radar, but we need to do the correct research. You, of anybody, knows if you do it wrong, 
then you've got to correct it next I, year. I, I think the Board of Oversight will make sure that it gets put on there soon. You don't believe anyone's going to let it go, please. Well, the Board of Oversight have nothing to do with what the three selectmen do in Deerfield. <laughs> well, I, I think there's two of us. They're drivers of why we're, yeah. we're doing something chair, like so. this in the mm -hmm. first place. They're drivers only because they want to make sure they can maintain so, their control uh, of the money as long as they can. Right. So That's why they're drivers. Yes. So, so, so I guess I kind of a little mixed. It, supposedly, this is a town of Deerfield building. Yes. The rentals go to the town of Deerfield. Correct. Correct. So why is a SCEMS meeting necessary to verify the validity of this it's if not, it's Waitley... Not. It's a courtesy. It's a courtesy. Okay, so it's not a requirement no, for no. what you're doing. No. The way, it's, the way it's coming across, it, it sounds no, like a there requirement. In, it's their intention to well. They're hoping that this happens because they want to make sure. Well, which is understandable. <laughs> well, well it is. Why don't they want to pay into the free cash? It's our building, and we have to maintain it. Well, I, I, I was yeah. going to say we've just, had we've had some expenditures for the building in the fact that we're responsible for the exterior of the building, so we're responsible for the snow removal, the the, um, the mowing of the lawn and, and the parking lot mm -hmm. and so on and so forth. So in that last year, we might have collected 36,000, <coughs> but we probably spent so. three, four, 5,000 out of, out of that. I don't know how much. Um, I'd have to look at that. But we have spent some. So, so I, I, I think that idea, needs so. to be taken into consideration too. Just, I'm so, just yeah, absolutely. saying absolutely. So a follow up on that same question is, has a thought been giving if and when this is a separate box all by itself and the wording is such that you know it has to be used totally for skims and so forth uh, thinking 20 years down the road um, how would you dissolve this if, mm -hmm. if this became a more regional situation and a larger service how would you go about dissolving that has that been thought of well, I think, yeah, I mean, that was my question is what do we do if we needed to take the money out of it? You know, if like it, it didn't serve a purpose anymore for some reason, well, something yeah, changed, it's got sold one way or whatever. Another. Yeah. yeah, then, um, yeah, that was the idea. I just wanted to make sure from council and, I, and, and so like, you know, it's a little, if this, if this meeting was in a month and a half from now, it might give us a little bit more time. We only need a couple weeks or a week or so to, to double check a couple of things here. So, I, I mean, it can go on. No, I'm just asking whether that had been followed yes, because it has been unfortunately the first time around with the SCEMS agreement there was a lot of things that were overlooked and, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, yeah. fortunately they finally got worked out but uh, you know, there was a lot of yeah. discussion on a lot of sure. things. So I'm just asking, that's all. Yep. Jeff? Uh, just to express a concern here, the building maintenance I understand completely. We should maintain that and we should set money aside to maintain that existing building and the property around it. When it comes to when we start talking additions and that though, I'm a big proponent of check and balances mm -hmm. and items like that should go through the town meeting. Uh, I think they, I right. think they would anyway. So, so, right. The idea is that we just don't have to come up with. Yeah, we don't have to pull right. it from somewhere else. Right. Yeah. But I also think that as we go along here over the years and we see that fund grow at some point in time as you have mentioned you, bleed it you off. don't want that to get too large and we need to realistically take a look and at some point in time Correct. look to reduce the assessments to the right. towns and you could look out you know once you get five years out you can see what right your and you can are. do a cost <laughs> average right and off. that's that's going to be very important I, I think we're sometimes and i'm getting a little nervous here uh because sometimes I have a feeling that we forget that uh, there's people in town, taxes, mm -hmm. you know, we keep going up in taxes, 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 you know, and, yep. and I know people say, well, not really because we're under two and a half and so on and so forth, but I believe that taxes went up roughly in real dollars. Real dollars, not in real dollars. Right, it, not you rate. ran up around 4% this mm -hmm. year. Yep. And, you know, you get to the point where it At is. what point in time are people not going to be able to afford these type of increases? Yep. 
So I, I guess that's that just was, yeah, that was our <coughs> my concerns that I may have. Yep. I understand very important to maintain your buildings. If yep. you're going to put them up, you've got to put money aside Absolutely. to maintain them yep. so you don't get caught down the road. Yeah. But uh, at yeah, the same time. Yeah, you're right. You don't want it to be this Right. At the same time, let's not overdo there, it. That's and you're all. not ever going to put an addition on. Then you've got to figure That's why I wanted to make sure that there was so, a way to bleed some of that off of there. Exactly. John? I, I, don't, I don't think we should be putting any. It's, it's in essence, it's a building stabilization fund for the excess that we don't spend on maintenance, and I don't think we should be doing that. We don't do it for any other building in town. Why would we do it for the Skins building? Just we have the opportunity. We have the opportunity. I mean, we wouldn't. We don't we have, have the any opportunity other to do it for any building in town. We should be so doing it for all should. buildings yeah, in yeah, town. Yeah, that's true too. But I, I, we're taking one building, the Skins, and we're saying we're going to set aside money in yep. case we need to enlarge. It. Not so much a larger, but maintain roof down the road, that kind of stuff. And, and if there is a need in the long, I mean, this is a long ways out. I, I doubt we're going to put an addition on, you know, next year or two years. But if the need was there and we had some money built up, it would lessen the impact on the residents that we, you know, have to go and ask for well, some money for that. But if this needs a new roof. Yeah, you know, I wish 50 years ago, yeah, you know, the forefathers did just, that. I, well, actually, I, I, I actually, can't understand why because we have the ability it's here. Right we'll be it and it, well, and that it's a that it's a regional system, so it, it's not just a town building. So we're it is to, just a town building. Well, it's I know a town it is, building. but you say town building. You're not collecting rent from any other towns on a building, so it, it's one area where you can focus that, that money. That's brand new, so we want to we want to correct the mistakes. Well, I'm not sure that there were mistakes in the past. My concern is that we, we did put a building maintenance or building, I've forgotten what the name of the, the account was. And it built up to a quarter of a million dollars, and then we used that to fund mm. the budget. Yep. Yeah. So that's, you know. That's what we're trying not to do here. But that's exactly what you, you're putting. You're putting this thing into a situation where we're putting funds in, and we're not designating those funds for oh, a no. particular cost. Specific for that Pardon? cost. Specifically for that cost. Not for, for what cost? For the cost of maintenance, roof, driveway, anything that it doors so overhead what, doors, so motors. What, that are we gonna, what are we going to budget next year for maintenance to? If, if we used this revolving fund, we yeah. wouldn't budget for wouldn't maintenance budget. because oh, all the so maintenance this is, would come out of the So this is the selectman's fund. slush fund oh. no, that it's, they can... No, it's, it's slush. A, look, I, I'm sorry. Slushies I don't for want, everybody. No, no, no. I don't want the Board of Selectmen <laughs> having the authority to bypass town meeting and spend money without town meeting approval. Well, it, it's not. Or, or it's, the finance committee I or any other think committee. This is for maintenance and upkeep. I think you would go through building. and you, you would see. It wouldn't be something that you would never see get spent. It obviously would be get recorded and talked about in a meeting here. Well, like we have, we have um, okay, next year we're going to look at putting a roof on. And we would say we're pulling $50,000 from this revolving fund to pay for this roof. How and is everybody that building any off. different from any other building we have in town? It's new, and we have the ability. We have income coming in. We've got, we've got a you highway department building. Else. We're not putting money aside for maintenance of the highway department sure, building. You're not. You don't have any rental income yeah, coming. Is, in. I don't know what rental, rental income has to do with it. Because it's money coming into the town, and you want to put it forward to that. I mean, it, it, you have a dedicated stream of money. No, I'm not sure why. I don't understand that argument. Well, I don't. I can't help you with that. Can I, before Bruce, before you start, I just want to give some clarification on these fund, on the fund and how it works, because you've asked some questions about that. So this revolving fund, this is just one way that you can do this. But what it does is it allows you to take all of the proceeds from the rent, or actually you could take as much as you want. It doesn't have to be the full amount. Mm -hmm. You could take 50% and put it into this. But it allows it to go into a revolving account. And then it allows you to, under Mass General Law, when you adopt it, it says that you're going to, under Mass General Law, it identifies building upkeep. And it basically means custodial, maintenance, um, landscape, you know, landscaping, groundskeeping, anything like that. It doesn't go as far as saying building addition or building, you know, anything that would be an addition or considered something like that. I think it's beyond the scope of building upkeep. So not, not a new roof That's what and we things, want to find but out. an addition or, or expanding, expanding the building. So 
the way that you get the money out of this revolving fund, if it becomes excessive, is that you close it out to free cash. At some point, if it gets to be too much, I'm pretty sure you can just close some of it out to free cash. Who but can? it's going the town of Deerfield because it would have to who close can, who out. Who can? Be specific. I think probably the select board could could put it on a warrant to, to close it out. To put it on a warrant or could just close it out? I, I don't know. And that's a brand new question. I'm not sure. If, I think it can just be closed out to free cash. If the, so it's never going to go back to the town meeting. It would have to be a meeting. vote by the select board to, to do something like that. But it's never going something. back to the town meeting. So we've got so this in fund that that's. In this particular case, no. So then another, another possibility, and it has been discussed and you've alluded to it, is there was discussion about doing a stabilization fund. So you could take a portion of this amount or right. all of it, and you could create a stabilization fund. Then that it's two-thirds vote. Then it would be a Deerfield town meeting vote that would require a two-thirds vote to take any money out. And then, but but I understand from discussions with the SCEMS folks, with Waitley and Sunderland specifically, that they um, were had concerns about it being in that type of situation where Deerfield voters would have a lot of power over spending money on. You know building. something? It's our building. That's exactly the way it's, it's supposed to be. Yeah. It's like I argued before, two, three, four years ago, that we got screwed over by giving a one-third vote when we pay over 52% of the bill. That was wrong back then, and it's still wrong. And here we got the same other towns trying to manipulate exactly what we're gonna do with the money. They're not trying it to comes in, control. when it went to the South yeah, Deerfield Fire over, District, there was nobody over there telling the South Deerfield Fire District what they had to do with the money. And now they're trying to tell you what to do with it because you only got one third vote and you can get outvoted by the other two towns. That's the issue. What I'm saying is I think I don't care if it says stabilization in the town. I, I'd rather have the town say uh, that there's a two thirds vote to pay for it. That has nothing to, I just want to make sure there's money set aside to deal with the expenses and that there's oversight from the town to understand what we're doing. It's our building. It's not anyone else's. They could choose to stay paying rent there or choose to do something else down the road. It's our building. We maintain it. I want to make sure we have funds set aside to do that. And you can put it in any vehicle you want. I just want to make sure it's flexible enough that we have oversight and we have some money set aside. And if, but it's the, know, it's the, the only building that we have in town that you're setting up this special fund for. Well, you could take a two-thirds of it and spread it out to the other buildings. I don't really care. I just want to make sure that it, we don't get 10 years down the road and, oh, we don't have money and we've got to hit the taxpayers for more money for this thing when we've had a stream of revenue coming. How about it's rent. for a town building fund? <laughs> we but did then that you're, then you're we, spreading we it out to everything else. The, the focus was to maintain this building. And, and we, I'd love to institute other, insti you know, other avenues to maintain our other buildings, but we, you can only bite off what you can bite off at the time. That's good. That's good. Um, I you know there's a lot of good pros and cons to everybody's discussion here. The one that's thing that scares me is, and I, I agree with Trevor. I would, if it could be narrowed down to a stabilization fund to be used for that building. I would much rather see that than to go into general fund. Because right now, that rental money is not costing the town anything because the rental money prior to this went to the, Deer, the Deerfield Fire District. It did not go to the town. This town, you give them the free cash, they're going to spend it, period. Mm -hmm. And you won't have anything down the road. Here is money that is not going to be missed because if somebody else was gathering it, and if this can be narrowed down to maintain that building, that building only, then if and when the time comes where major expenses have to be done, it will be taken care of and it won't have to go through a taxpayer because if you start putting this rent in a general fund, this town is going to spend it and you're going to have nothing down the road. And if we, if it can be a percentage of it, I mean, it doesn't, ha I mean, I just wanted to make sure. I personally, I'd like to see it all going in there because. And it could because, be, be as long, I just wanted to make sure yeah, we could bring it back, back a little bit we down had the a, road if it got too much or if, you know, you just didn't want too much money in that adjusted. account. But that, that was a roof. A good example is what, $48,000 to have a roof put on the, uh, the little portion of there. Okay, right off the bat, 48000 and that's today's prices. Yeah. You give that a few years, you, disposal costs, we know what disposal costs is going to, roof shingles and so forth, you have a generator over there. That's probably got a five or six year, I'm sure it wasn't a Cadillac that they put mm -hmm. in there because it was a donation. 
but that's going to have to be done. And this, you know, as much as I understand, everybody said, well, it's going to end up with too much money there. Well, you're going to end up with none the way this town spends money if you don't put it away and narrow that down. You know, I'm perfectly happy with where, where it's two-thirds vote for the town to, to spend Ex that, that money. That part, yes. It is town building. It's yes. not, you know, mm -hmm. I know it's Skem's building, right. but, you know, we are the fiscal agent of it, and it's our building. We, you know, but the intention was to make sure mm -hmm. that those towns knew like that they weren't going to also have to come up with this, that they were paying this rent forward, but it was, and we were going to be the stewards of that money so that eventually that would go to maintain that as well. There is a, you know, there's a working together regional aspect to this too, and that we're going to be well, responsible yeah, stewards right. of the money. Extra cash for, here's a supplies bill, here's your percentage. Right. Yes, we pay the majority of it, but mm -hmm. perhaps. But the other two split it, and to come up with the money is tough. So the idea was to be proactive, like the South Deerfield Fire District. Could we get a copy of Mass General Law, Chapter 40, Section 3? Yes. If you could, burn a copy and throw it into all of our boxes. Yeah. Good idea. That's a good idea. <clears throat> I, I would have less concern if, I, if we were doing a capital building stabilization mm -hmm. fund for all of the town buildings and, and, not, and not just take the money that we get here, but set aside well, we can, 50000 bucks or $100,000 and build that up so that we do have that. And, and then my fear, though, is that we would rob that to do yes. a senior center or some other thing Absolutely. 10 years down the road, and we wouldn't have the money for that building when it's Absolutely. needed. Absolutely. But in the I, meantime, get tax and the taxpayers to fix up the senior center and your money sitting in a revolving fund. And, and we had a revolving fund, and all you have to do is go back, and you can get Brenda to tell us that, and I've forgotten what the name of it was, but we ended up using that for about four years, for what taking 50000 bucks a year out of it to balance the budget. Yeah. Do you remember the yeah. municipal no, building fund? That. Yeah. And that's exactly what we have here, is a municipal building fund. I, I mean, I call it a slush fund, but it, it's, it's that. It wasn't a slush fund. No, no, no. I know. It wasn't. But it ended up being used for. It used as a slush fund. We we Call ended up what using, it is. We, we ended up using it for what we had not intended to use it for. Yeah. I did, how do you how do you set that? I mean, I want. So you can't because that was a town meeting vote to take the money out to balance the budget. So I mean, or to, to cover so a budget. You want some sort of um, you want some oversight, but you also want to make sure it's geared towards it's going to be there when you need it, and I don't know how to how to make that well, happen real I, well. I, I just feel uncomfortable voting on it within the next two weeks. So then we'll, wanna, we'll push it up. Yeah, that's yeah. fine. It's not yeah. a big deal. But I, I just want to make sure that we're thinking and, about and this hard. And then we can then we can look at you know something that's a little more comprehensive. So well, I don't like my, I said, I don't my mind wish the capital is to be improvement. as flexible as possible to anticipate anything that might occur, any what ifs, so that we're prepared. That's yep. all. The so idea of taking that money and putting it into a separate fund is a good idea. The idea of taking that money to maintain that building is a great idea. I don't have a problem with that at all. My only problem is I don't want two small accounts dictating us how we're going to spend that money. Yeah, they can't. It's us. It's John, our money. So John, we're, we're, they don't. But we, we want to be. But if you're going to blow it by them, you're letting them no, provide the need, the no. negative vote on it. And that's what I don't a, like. They don't have a John, vote on it. This is to discuss. There is yeah, no vote. They don't have a vote. This is a courtesy it's thing. Deerfields. We work together. You cannot work together if you do not talk to each other and you do not try to address everybody's concerns. The idea is to have a courtesy review. And the review is what what are your concerns? That doesn't mean that we're gonna do whatever. But you need the I just don't want to give away any more of our votes. Mm -hmm. John, That's what I, don't I, don't want I to am do. there at every single meeting. Nothing happens that shouldn't happen, okay? I am there always. To well, guess what? Things. When you formed the thing, you gave away the town. <laughs> I wasn't involved as a, voting, as a member. Then. As the people who voted that thing, you were one of the three selectmen. So was Mark Gilmore, and so was uh, And guess what, John? Wolfram. After the th the, we formed those scams, <laughs> And the bottom line is, Carolyn, when you think about it, they had the meeting at Frontier Regional, and they said, is this a deal breaker where you will not get it? And it was not a, a deal breaker because 
the selectmen from Sunland said, no, it's not a deal breaker. All we asked for was a fair, equal thing weighted upon vote, and we didn't get it. You gave away our vote. John, there is no need to count votes because we all agree. That's what I've heard before, but guess what? They want to have control of it now. No, That's they not don't. the they same don't. thing. They do not. They, they do don't. not. I am the one that wants to bring this to the scams for a courtesy review. That has nothing to do with the other towns. They didn't know about this special town meeting, you know, just as I did. I came to the selectmen's meeting Wednesday night with this on the table. That's How can the other you. towns be dictating mm -hmm. to us if well, I didn't even I want to make sure they don't. They, they don't. don't John. They always work it's co collaboratively. It's a courtesy, cooperative atmosphere. I heard the collaboration before, and the vote did not prove the collaboration. It proved the giveaway. Well, it's... Old the reason argument, I'm here tonight is, is to make sure there's, that we will this is a different one. I must have put the So can we, can we take this off the special town meeting agenda yes. and put it on to yes. either a later agenda or put it into it will annual? It so a later can, town, either special town meeting or regular annual. Regular town we'll just meeting. get in touch with council and figure out and on the, yeah. figure out how we, how we can kind of, I just yeah, want to make sure that the money is there yeah, in the account. Ask the selectmen to take a look at the, the capital. We, we have personally conveyed to the other towns that we are going to set it aside and we need to make sure it fits our needs as well as SCEMS needs. And, and I, I mean, I understand and I certainly understand the, you know, keeping them informed. I, I do get, I think I share a little bit of John's concern about, uh, I mean, it, it's, it's our building. I don't think when Waitley was was going to discuss with the town of Deerfield how they were going to maintain the Waitley town office building that, that they bought. And I'm not sure why. No, but I remember very clearly the, sure during that negotiation that they would guarantee to rent for two years. And they say, we'll negotiate the rent after two years, mm -hmm. after we put a half million dollars into that building. Yeah. So I didn't see the same intestinal fortitude on the town trying to protect our property <clears throat> back then and I want to make sure we do it now because I don't want any more mistakes on that. <clears throat> John, when I go to the meetings, I am, we all work together. That's great that we all work together, but guess what? Someday, Carolyn, you're not going to work together and when it comes down to who's got the vote, we still get outvoted by two smaller towns dictating to us how we're going to spend our money. That's my heartache. That's what it was two, three years ago, and it's still there. Okay. Uh, that, so anyway, I'm ready to move on if you are. I, also, I want to say this is Article 2 as well, since that's the money that yep. the fund is. The, the important uh, paragraph for all of us is Paragraph 2, for the most part. Um, the last two paragraphs refer to the school as far as You're real fast, thank you. Is. What's that? You're real fast, thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. So, John, have you had a chance to read this and analyze it yet? No. Oh, come on. Okay. But thank you for the offer. Uh, <clears throat> so, yeah, if we could put this put this aside so we can have a further discussion, it's, I would much appreciate that. Same with Article 2. Do we need, do we need to talk about Article 2? No, Article 2 is a moot point if you're not going to do Article 1. Yeah. Yep. Uh, no, it looks like they're withdrawing it voluntarily. Yeah, no, if, if there is no it's article, there's nothing for us to do on there. Yeah, it's a draft. And it's my understanding then that, that at least that we'll uh, get another shot at this if, if you put this on the special town meeting. Another, the finance committee will get another opportunity to discuss it. Oh, yeah, absolutely, as always. Uh, article 3, which is the real reason for the town meeting. So we're kind of, uh, we may have the ability to get um, the grant to fix the Kelleher Drive culvert, which is very expensive. And through this MVP program, um, we need to put up some of the money and they put up a whole bunch of it. We've already gotten money for the design work. Um, this would be construction along with several other items that are included in that grant application. So we were trying to figure out um, 
we wanted to bring it before the town because you know it's a large chunk of money and we always want people to understand where you know what we're doing with the money what we're gaining for grant how we're leveraging the money we have in town to, to repair our infrastructure but we've been um, kind of going back and forth I've been thinking about others have been thinking about where where do we pull the money from is it uh, an appropriation is it um, capital stabilization or uh, one thought would be chapter 90 um, and we weren't sure if we could use chapter 90 for that so we were trying to reach out and see if there was any way yeah we, we determined that. that we cannot because today chapter, yes chapter 90 is considered a state funding source that's what I thought state match Okay. State funds. That answers that. Okay, so we're back on. So what they're saying is that uh, since that was the old Route 5 and 10 that went through town, they won't pay for that bridge since they built it wrong 50 years ago yeah, or 100 years not. ago? Well, they'll pay for quite a bit of it. Um, so uh, just not through the Chapter 90 program. So yeah, that's, that's true with state money. So, um, yeah, that's why I wasn't sure if you could. I know you can match federal money with state money, but not. Um, Do we need a special town meeting for this article, or not, can that article wait till the annual town meeting, uh, timing-wise? Well, here's the issue: is that you need to the money needs to be appropriated when you sign the contract, mm -hmm. and um, the, the problem with this grant has been that the money comes willy-nilly. We've had this conversation a bunch of times, but it comes at random times, and you have to you have to sign the contract and then spend the money before the year is out, and um, so you have to for this amount of money normally if it's you know so you have to 70 have grand sitting shovel ready yeah basically. and and the issue last special town meeting is we were thinking should we put this money aside but we weren't sure at that point where we, whether we were going to apply for the grant whether we'd even have a shot of getting it because we've been so fortunate to get all three grants fully funded so far we just thought our time is running out we th we think there might be a good chance we would have this and and it's a huge chunk of money to fix that problem um, we just think it's worth spending the money but we would need you know if it was coming out of uh, stabilization we needed two-thirds vote from the from the town so we thought it was important to have a special town meeting to do it I mean I on you know to do it correctly we should have the appropriation in hand when we sign the contract to do it so correctly. waiting for our annual town meeting could put us in jeopardy yeah so we wouldn't have as I mean we could sign it but that really wouldn't be legal I mean you really need to know yeah. that the town has supported you with that funding works. yeah I mean you kind of have to know I mean it would be if you signed it and then it wasn't voted then you'd be you'd basically committed and right yeah. so when when do we actually have to vote this when does the town have to vote this well ideally before approximately I think I did you know Ideally before the contract signed, but if it's in the works when the contract signed, I think that's, you know, it's, I think that would be, you know, okay, but, but it, it, again, know. it's a big, it's a big commitment to sign if you don't have an appropriation or a vote. We have to sign by the 30th, right? 31st. Yeah, so, so, 31st. Yeah, so the, and this was the last, you know, because of our timing for two We're weeks for a meeting. We're not allowed to say that we have it. Yeah, and there, yeah. you know, think some stuff is. So, so the under wraps. 31st is a, is a drop dead date okay. and the 29th was as soon as we can get a date with a, you know, a, a meeting notices. date, right. posting notices so and stuff. So it will be a quick meeting, but I feel like this is a legitimate article. It's important. I, I agree. And then we should. 75% of the Kelleher drive cost. How frequently do these rounds come about as so, far as the money? Great question. They, it's kind of when, from what I'm learning from Carolyn, um, it's a matter of the governor finds money, like stuff that hasn't been spent or whatever, and he kind of drops it in there and says, okay, you can use that. But there is legislation going through right S10 now. S10 is, is going through. That's the one which, I went to Boston and testified for. So there will be a dedicated stream of money, and there will be regular then you could rounds. Plan. But right now, the governor, this is his thing to fund. We've been very lucky. We've been funded every single round. We were the first community, or one of the first in the state, to get certified. A lot of work um, went into it. We've just been very lucky. So we've been able to replace reports <coughs> and do a lot of things that. Um, we wouldn't be able to pay for so and the, the reason why this keeps popping up because you can use federal match is that there's just no money from the federal government mm. i haven't been able to normally i use federal money and there just isn't any i'm going to testify and go down and 
Thursday with this on the federal level and testify to try to get more money um, at the state technical meeting but um, for the farm bill but there just hasn't been for the three last three years there's just not been a dollar of federal money it was what was left over and and we've picked up a little bit of it but there just isn't the consistent hundred to two hundred to three hundred thousand dollars that we normally get I, I just haven't been able to dig it up because nothing there's been no infrastructure programs and the farm bill expired in September of 2018 it was renewed in, in December of 18 but the rules are just coming out now that's what the meeting is on Thursday we have to go and testify and um, what you know I'm hoping to explain we need money on the local level and all that kind of stuff but <coughs> The farm bill has been authorized, but not any money for programs, and the rules and regulations haven't even been done yet. So it's or <coughs> just are starting to get done. So, I mean, you have a whole gap mm -hmm. of a year that money hasn't been released, which has normally been our funding. I've worked through NRCS mm -hmm. every every year. I've been able to get money, okay. and, and it just hasn't. Another question: If the town votes the money and we don't get a grant, mm -hmm. does that just carry forward? Yeah, we, we wouldn't expend. Okay. Yeah. All right, and then the next question would be, did I just hear that chapter 90 money wouldn't work? Right, so yeah, apparently we were hoping The next question to where, comes down right? to, you're almost 200,000 here. That was where, the, where are you looking to yeah, bring that? That was the um, issue where I was hoping we'd work on the, on the motion is maybe, um, you know, we have, we have capital stabilization mm -hmm. and we have not much free cash. It probably would have to come from stabilization, which- We have a uh, regular, a general stabilization a general, account. So maybe we could take a little from each and- I, I guess that was what I thought you had in mind was the general I, stabilization yeah, I th account. Yeah, I would, we, the intent of having that capital stabilization was to allow that to build up to such a manner- Right, that for buildings. We could, well, we could, no, right. we could essentially use it to fund our capital, to fund our, our uh, DPW stuff. Capital improvement program. Mm -hmm. So that if one year we need to take 100,000 out and the next year you need to take 300,000 out, you can, and then we would consistently put, put money a in. level amount into the capital yes. stabilization. So that. So it would have to be just general then, I so, guess. Is and the we've only. got 1.2 million, I think. In, yes. Okay. Remember Somewhere last around. year though, we only put 150 in the capital stabilization. So I know. we haven't struck that level fund mm -hmm. balance no, that's yet. Right. That's why so I'm at some point in time, like Skip was saying, it would be nice to be able to yeah. get that number and obviously it's still no it's only and three years old. So that's kind of, you know, my my discussion the other night was, you know, the these it would be nice if you had all kinds of grants to pick from that could tailor towards the needs of the town. And this is obviously a need of the town, but is it Priority number one. I mean, pretty much, if you can't get out of Kelleher Drive or <laughs> five and ten well, is shut down, or you know, our roads shut down. It so it's priority number one. We only have to pay twenty five percent. It's a huge. It's a so, huge yes. deal for us. So um, we got the design and, and um, engineering costs. If we could get this, this it would be great. And so I'm, I'm confident Hopefully. we're going to get it. Um, a couple. I just want to clarify. Um, if you don't get the grant, this will money will stay, re, re, right. be on earmarked, correct, and stay in yeah, the stabilization not, not for fund. Project. Right, have to well, be. You're specific. shaking your head. Yes, you're shaking your head. No. If there's no grant, then it won't get spent. Yeah, we would. Okay, so it, it, we, it's not going to stay there, and you're not. And if a round five comes up, you're not going to say, "Well, this money was appropriate." No, okay, we don't know so what it's we're going to be on earmarked and stay in the stabilization. Mm -hmm. Okay, my next question I is: is you. is since we had all this go round it. Uh, and now that we are looking for a taxpayer match, has this gone through the capital improvement committee? No, because this is this application process was too quick. All the money, the fast. money, the application went in, and, and the announcement is. Wednesday. I mean, this all happened. Take it up Wednesday. Like, Wednesday. Oh, oh, okay. Wonderful. Well, then that's fine. We're meeting. We're meeting Wednesday. It's not five o'clock. Technically on our agenda, but yeah. uh, but uh, that's I'm just. You well, know, that's, there's still that's time. The problem with these, I know we it can include irritates it. everybody, but the problem is we're notified that there is, uh, you know, a grant opportunity. And we put the out, we've, we have all these line of things. I know what the problem is. I just yeah. was bringing it up. So, to, so yeah. to the thought, yeah. and that's kind of why we talked, and Diana talked about putting culverts in that plan 
um, in the capital state because you have to kind of start planning for this stuff because what happens is like, oh, out of the blue, two hundred thousand mm -hmm. bucks. We nobody knew anything about it, and all of a sudden it's on the capital plan on Wednesday night, and that's frustrating for the capital planning committee. Mm -hmm. And and so that's kind of why Diana had talked. Well, let's put you know we talk about a million bucks in there that it needs to kind of slowly, you know, you have this need in town, and and that so at least you have a, it on the plan. It's not out of the blue. May I interrupt mm -hmm. just for a second and be very helpful if. With that two hundred thousand dollars, if whomever could determine how that's going to get broken out, mm -hmm. as far as where the money's coming from, we can give you the and details. if it's all yeah. coming from the capital, you know, stabilization fund, the then general. so be it. Say yeah. it. If yeah. it if we're going to be able to take it from here, there, and the next place, mm -hmm. then have the, have that breakout for Wednesday yes. night. So when it comes to the capital improvement plan committee. Mm -hmm. that they'll be able to assess it yep. that evening and sure. it'll be up to the members whether they can vote it that night or not a yep. lot of times as we've known in the past people really feel uncomfortable getting put on the hot seat oh, yeah. without having information ahead of time and i know sometimes these things happen but yep. it just it just makes a lot of people uncomfortable especially sure. when we're Me talking too. almost you know $200,000. I, I apologize, but the fact that we can only pay 25% instead of 100% oh, sure. motivates yeah. me to take, take your aggravation and mm. say, I'm sorry. But, you know, it's still. Yeah, no, I, I understand what you're saying. Of dollars. So, right. I, I, let's go back for a moment. I would much prefer that we take this out of general stabilization general. or free cash and mm -hmm. leave capital stabilization alone until we get that built up. If the point was to use that capital stabilization mm -hmm. to, to fund the capital improvement program, right. and this is not part of the capital improvement program. Right. Well, I, ha I have well, a thought, a thought that just crossed yeah. my mind. Well, we'll always take those. <laughs> well, you know, every, every year we try to use some free cash to put into capital stabilization yeah. or stabilization. Mm -hmm. So maybe this year the money goes towards this instead of one of those accounts and then you wouldn't have to mess with your stabilization i don't but know it's just a thought we have we have a stabilization the only thing that i can remember we've used the stabilization fund for at least in the last 20 years that i can remember is we took a million dollars out to oh, reduce garage. reduce the, the, the debt payments for the uh, town on garage the, on the highway mm -hmm. that's the only thing so, i can remember ever so yeah. this to me is a reasonable and we need to get a two-thirds vote from town meeting mm -hmm. uh, so well, we just have to hope that 35 people show up and, and believe in what we're doing yeah so well, we'll have to the get the word out is if it's not 25 and the 24 of them it's 100 percent well, it's 100 percent and you, you, uh, you want to pay on 200,000 or 600,000 you know yeah, no it's I, I don't i don't see that as a, as a so problem we got to get the word out so, we just yep. have to make sure 35 people. For years, people what we had to do is if you didn't get the 35 people, you close the library and close the Polish <laughs> Club. <laughs> John, that sounds like an action plan that I should get into. <laughs> you get behind. I'm going to drag everybody up to vote. Yep. Anyway, I'm in favor of it. Okay. All right. And, and, Thank you. you know, we can talk the only about question it. is do you have to have this on the 29th? Yes. yes. If you do, okay. we do. Yes. We do. Do we need a, a motion from the finance committee on this? Yes, <laughs> it would be. Yep. I would move to support this article. Or do I have to say it any other way? Article if three. Because of general stabilization, does it have to get through the capital planning committee? Sure. I yeah. think it's going to come. It's, 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 it's going to come up on Wednesday. Hopefully, they'll take it up. Then There's you nothing. probably ought to do one of those request forms. Right. Yeah. The paper well, request, just well, to yeah. just I, to make sure, that. so I mean, we have it, that, so yeah. we have it Wednesday mm -hmm. night. That's yeah. pretty simple, yep. quick and easy, and yep. that way the dollar amount and the funding is sense. right there. So there's People no look questions. And yep. Okay. That way we're good. And John, that wasn't a bad point that you brought up coming out of general instead of capital, but yeah, because so, we do have uh, culverts that are 
going to be added to the uh, five-year plan yeah, yeah. this year. Yeah. So can I? Can I? We're hoping we're, to have the assessment. You want to re have the secretary reread that motion? That you no, made? I'm, I'm going to reread it. I want to change change it so that it says general stabilization. In the motion. In the motion. That they're, that's what that's at least that's what we're voting. Right. Okay. You're supporting to recommend that motion. Yes, we're gotcha. recommending that it's general stabilization. And in the amount of the 196 and change. Any? I'll second your motion then. Okay. It's moved and seconded. And if there's no objection, we just vote the, the motion in its entirety. Uh, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Is there opposition? Is it unanimous? Okay, it's unanimous. Thank you okay. very Thank much. You. Thank you. Now, if we go back and argue about the first. <laughs> sure. No, I, I just want to say that um, we are going to, I am going to apply for a grant, which might cost some money, so we're going to have to figure that where that will be from, but um, we're hoping to get a grant to do the assessment of the, of the culvert so we don't have the surprises like Keller Drive. Really, that was a surprise. Hmm. No one knew it was so deteriorated. I realize this has nothing to do with it. Can... Can our town highway department uh, do this work? Well, I just throw it out. I I got the nor the uh, north end of town done. Um, I asked MassDOT to expand their project of along Route 116 and Route 2 um, from Irene damage to include us. So we got that done from Mass DOT. Mm -hmm. So we have 119 crossings in that northern end of town. And I'm, we just wrote a letter to request um, technical assistance from the FERCOG to actually inventory all the crossings in the rest of the town, you know, south down mm -hmm. here and River Road especially. And then there's an infrastructure grant availability, I believe, in August is the deadline. And Ty and Bond, I've been working with Zach from Ty and Bond that we're going to put in for that, um, that would actually have them come out and use the identified crossings, not spend the money identifying the culverts, but going to the culverts and prioritizing um, the condition of the culverts. It's really an engineering thing. I mean, mm. you can look, Kevin, when, the reason this came up is because there was a, we had the class, we sponsored a class here in town, and they went over to do Kelleher Drive as an example. Found and out so when you're falling. crawling in there and you're looking at it, the thing is, was falling in, and it was pieces were missing. So obviously it's been deteriorated, but I don't think our highway department really has an engineering background to do the, the more That's real nice. assessment that we need. So we have a prioritized, so when we don't randomly throw out a million dollars, we hand out, this is what it's gonna cost, which will probably be much more than a million dollars, but not to freak out because we're gonna continue to hustle money and there's, I would anticipate a lot more money being available and so the idea is for us to be ready to capitalize on that by saying we have 24 high priority culverts and this is how much money we need and we get it done. The, uh the question really is, do we have the expertise within the highway department to I do the construction? The answer is no. The answer is no, no I don't really. Think so. You not, need a structural engineer. Not to do engineer. anything more than a look and go falling down or something. Interpret it. You oh, really I, need an engineer. What we're well, no, no, no. I understand the, the engineering is fine, but the actual construction of the, you know, the digging it up, taking it out, the old one out, and putting oh. the new oh, one in. Oh, the smaller ones we will do ourselves. I'm talking about the more complex is, is and the permitting. The permitting itself is by itself is, is quite a lot. So we're going to, you know, obviously that would be part of what we'd be applying. And for. I guess the next one is what what's the expectation on, on the Mill Village? Oh that's gonna be bridge. Oh. Don't we call that a bridge now? No. Okay. No, no, that's being replaced, and it's covered under the MVP program. We got it replaced. Under okay. It's, a, it's out to bid right now. It's, bids are okay. due uh, the 23rd. And it, and it will be done this spring. Okay. And it was covered. The engineering and permitting was one phase, mm -hmm. and the third phase was the implementation. Yeah, that's funded in this current round. In the current round, this is covered. The. Uh, do we want? 
Anything else the committee needs to discuss? And if not, can we set a date for? We already have a date. We've got two. We've got two dates. Okay. Uh, the 21st, isn't it? And the 30th? Correct. At okay. 6. At 6. So it's a week from uh, tomorrow. And then Thursday or something. Okay. Thursday. Thursday, Thursday, the 30th. So the night after the okay. town meeting is special. Yep. Okay. Make a motion when you adjourn. Second. Did we need to have a vote on that? Third article or no? We did. We, we did. did. We voted. Seven all. That's we what we just yeah. did. Yeah. That was a seven, seven zero, zero. Miss, zero. How did I miss the actual voting? I must have zoned <laughs> out on the zero zero. Yeah. Probably, yeah. You were, uh, you were nodding did, your head. I documented the rest <laughs> of them. Okay, you were cool. nodding your head for agreement. <laughs> I, I mean, I. I you yeah, were yeah, adding general. So I was waiting to. I've been, I've been <laughs> voting yes for like an hour. Or did you stick your fingers in your ears? I've heard enough of these arguments. No, it's good. I documented it and I wasn't. I might have done it ahead of time. I put I put Skip and um, John Patrick. So oh, okay. Maybe, maybe it was. Yeah, I, just, okay. I just was anticipating it. So, all those in favor of adjourning? Yeah. Aye. 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 Yeah, you raised your hand. Who's opposed? I did. I guess I did. I did. <laughs> I did. I did. I did. I did. It's unanimous. We still appreciate you.